And you know what I've I found working in addiction for so long is if you look at the story of somebody's life and when they started using, you can get a good idea of when the addiction really kind of took off and how they became addicted. If you look at somebody that's going through a hard time in their life, so maybe rejection, depression, anxiety, they may feel a little lower already, right? They're already a little depressed, right? They may have low mood. They may have high anxiety. If they get drunk the first time and they get a, a dopamine spike, their level of pleasure is going to be higher than somebody that is, is not here. Someone that has, you know, good, stable environment. They don't have depression or anxiety. Their dopamine release is going to be like that. Whereas somebody that's depressed or they're anxious, their dopamine release is going to be like that. So the, the valuation is actually higher. So they actually assign a higher value because they're in a more depressed state and the, uh, the alcohol, drug, whatever it is, I guess, brings them uh, more relief than, than a normal person. So someone that doesn't have issues going on. So you can kind of start to identify what happened, what state they were in and why that uh, substance or behavior has so much value right? Because it's a problem of overvaluation.